All right, so the first question we have today comes from Aya the Awesome on Instagram. She asks, what should you pack for college? The dorms are usually a bit small, so what would you suggest bringing? I don't know who wants to kick that one off. So the first thing I would recommend doing is going to your college's website and looking at what's not allowed. Uh, some co every college is different. Some will allow you to have like microwaves in your room or coffee pots and things like that. And you don't want to invest in something like a coffee pot if you're going to a small school where they have smaller dorms and you can't have those in them. Only to like get there and find out that you can't have them. Just like th that's the first thing I would do because I would I would hate to pay a hundred dollars for a microwave and then show up and be like, oh, I can't mom take this home, I guess. That's a, a good point with that too with the George Foreman grill. Not sure if it's as popular it was when I was in school. However, those were not allowed in my dorm. So definitely make sure to check that list because uh, I was yeah. illegally grilling <laughs> in my dorm room until I was coming. Yeah, I mean, I would just say that less is more. Um, you'll find out that you really don't need as much stuff as you have at home. So just bring what you need and then you can always have your parents send you stuff if you forget it. Um, but honestly, yes, the dorm room is small. Yeah. Um, you're limited to space, so just bring what you need and um, you'll be able to survive. To kind of riff off of what Kara was saying, yeah. find that list, but also find out who your roommate is and make sure that you're not bringing duplicates of the same items. Uh, mini fridges uh, might be allowed, might not be allowed in your dorm. If they are allowed, make sure that there's only one coming to the room. If you have multi mini fridges, it's going to get a little hectic. Uh, all of a sudden, you don't have room to store things. Or maybe you don't want to share food, so bring two. <laughs> That's true. Maybe you don't want to share food. The other thing, too, is bring clothes. If you're somewhere, if you're used to a warm climate yeah. or anything like that, and you're, you're changing locations, make sure to bring at least clothes for different climates if the climate is going to change. Bring a, at least a jacket of some sort. I know you start school and it's relatively warm but it gets cold quickly. Not to say that you can't go back and get clothes but it's nice to have an array of clothes ready yeah. so you're not freezing or too cold, too, that's the same thing as freezing but or too yeah. hot. Yeah. yeah. Especially if you're like moving somewhere severe like if you're going from like Texas to Maine bring a jacket, bring at least a couple of hoodies, um, just so that you're prepared for when the weather gets cooler and you can't you can't go home um, and get your winter jacket, or maybe you don't have a winter jacket. I don't know how cold it gets in Texas, but it can be rough. <laughs> yeah, and um, a good idea is to make um, like a Google Doc, like a Google Sheet, uh, with your roommate and then just have like a list of all the things that your college requires or all the things that you you will want to bring and then you can keep track of who has what and who needs to get um, on that so that's a really easy way because a lot of times you know you and your roommate are close to each other in proximity so that's a good way to stay organized so you don't duplicate stuff and also from my experience bring one nice pair of clothing <laughs> You will go somewhere that you're gonna regret not having it if you if you if you don't. So my whole wardrobe was a packet of white t-shirts, a few jeans, and then I had one thing hanging in my closet that was a pair of khakis, a nice button-up shirt, and a tie, and some nice shoes. Yeah. Just in case somebody pulls you out and says, "Hey, this is a great opportunity. If I show up with white t-shirts and jeans, I'm gonna look yeah. like." Who is this kid? Yeah, there's usually a job fair of some sort for like on-campus jobs somewhere in the first month or so. And if you want an on-campus job or if you're looking for a job off-campus, you definitely want like girls a nice dress or a skirt, guys, a pair of khakis and a just a white button-down or even a polo. Yeah, would be fine. definitely. Or even if you just want to look good. Yeah. You know, one day you're just feeling sharp and you're like, you know what, I want to look really good. Okay, Molly so. says that, but I can look good in a trash bag. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, obviously, my friends did that once. It was someone's birthday and they're like, we're all going to get fancy. We're going to go downtown. We're going to get sushi. And we went to this dive bar sushi place and we were all fancy and dressed up. Someone had a top hat and like mm -hmm. everyone, the guys were wearing suits. And I'm like, this is, this is weird, but I'm into it. <laughs> yeah, fancy Fridays. Exactly. Love it. There you go. Yeah. Okay, and to bring you a little bit more information if you go to our website and there's an article that we'll put in the description below 
but there is a complete list of what to pack the essentials. And now we'll go over everything. We touched briefly on a lot of things, but uh, toothbrush, deodorant, like nitty gritty things you're gonna wanna bring. That article has everything. Clorox wipes. Clorox wipes are, are big. Very Okay.